My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when Jesus, before he left, he told all of us, love one another, love one another. That is why this day is called Monty Thursday sometimes. The Monty refers to the command of Jesus to love one another. I don't know how you feel today. Last year, we don't have any celebrations that you can come to the church, right? This year, some of you, not all of us, can come for this celebration. We are now entering the tritium the high celebrations of our church, of our faith. It's very important. Yeah? It's very important. Mondi is right from the Latin for mentum or commandment. We can think this way today yeah, for our reflections. Love one another. Serve one another. Have mercy on one another. Probably some of us maybe just do the first part, love one another, but they don't serve one another. Then don't talk about have mercy on one another. I hope that we are entering this Pascha Tridium, that we can reflect on these three things, especially on tonight's celebration. Love one another, serve one another, have mercy on one another. To love one another is to seek the good for the other person. To seek the good of the other person. All of us by now are aware that good of the per other person is not always having as much as sex and as much as money and as much as power as possible. Yeah? You seldom listen when the time I have giving homily come out on this sex, right? Today got money, sex and power. These are the values of our modern world. All of us tend to subscribe to them in one way or another, almost without thinking. Like some of us maybe subscribe to YouTube, huh? just click, 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 subscribe, but you don't know what is that. Huh? People are waiting, the YouTuber are waiting for the people who subscribe to YouTube. Even though our church YouTube also waiting for the people who subscribe to YouTube. For what for? When the time to subscribe to thee, they can send you the message that we have new video, we have new things. So these are the three things that always been subscribed, but without thinking. If we love the other person, we want that person to be fully alive in a way that responds to God's love. It's very important. Eh? Responds to God's love. Caring for the other person does not mean that we wish them to have no sex, no money, and no power. Huh? It does mean that we want them to have all that helps them respond more profoundly to the Lord's love for us. Love one another always relate to God's love because God is love. God is love. You and I in this love, that's why we are enjoying this love. To serve the other person is to put our good desires for them into actions. Good desires, not the bad desire, or oh, that person, I want to get from him 
more attraction. The children get attraction from the father or from the mother. That one is bad desire. But good desire from them into action to serve, huh? to serve. It is nice to pray for those who have nothing. But if we never help them have something, our love is false. If we do not help others form truly moral values about sexuality and human relationship, then our love is false. If we leave others powerless and always able to be exploited, then our love is false. To serve others means to put my own life at, at risk by doing actions that promote the good of others. Jesus himself is an example for each one of us. Yeah? To have mercy on the other person is not to judge them, but only to work for their good. So many cultures and peoples believe that if a person makes a mistake, then they must pay for that mistake. Is it? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. There is a story I didn't think about, want to share, but thinking now, I want to say now. There is a old monk and then a little monk. The little monks with the old monk together. I mean, few of them together. So this old monk, a teacher, tell all these students. He said that two plus two, how much? Equal to four, right? Four plus four equals to Huh? Eight. Eight plus eight equals to? Huh? Oh, Sixteen. Nine plus nine equals to nineteen. Huh? Wrong, ah? Sorry? Eighteen, ah? Okay. Just now, with that time, I say, then the, the, all the students say that, Teacher! You say wrong already, lah. Just sound like you, lah. You all, lah. Say wrong, dear father. Nine plus nine. Sorry, eighteen. Not nineteen. But when the time, the monk told the young one. When the time I say two plus two, it equals to four. Correct, ma? Four plus four equals to eight. Correct, ma? And eight plus eight equals to sixteen. But why you didn't? appreciate and thanks me that I say the right thing. But by the time I say the wrong one, you say I'm wrong. You get what I mean? Huh? This is called 100 minus 1 equals to 0. You did 100 times good things for other people, but one times did wrong equals to 0. The hundred times good things one, all gone. People only looking for your bad one. That one's only. How come we have this kind of mind? Right? When the time I did good things, right things, you didn't appreciate, you didn't, you know, wow, good, correct, give me some encouragement. But no. This monk tell the people, tell the students, and tell each one of us, Sometimes you have to think about that. If you do something good, did you give them encouragement or not? Confirmation or not? Many times, we didn't do that. Only when a time the person do wrong, then we say he's wrong or she is wrong. So, many cultures and beliefs that if a person make a mistake, then they must pay that the mistake. 100 minus 1 equals to 0. <laughs> that is the reason. Jesus 
only did so many things, right? Many times curing, healing people, but he did maybe once doing the Sabbath day to heal the person. But the, all these Pharisees try to criticize him, try to crucify him, try to kill him. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our loving God does not do that to us, is it? You go to confession every time we ask, look, the Father will absolute them. What mistake you did, the Father also will do. Even though the Father will gum, 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 say a lot of things, ah, finish already, you ask, look, right? You are sin no more. Go in peace. Please do not do anything, anytime again, huh? right? He wants us to learn not to make mistakes. But He is always there to help us and always have mercy on us. You and I is His loved one. Today we celebrate God's love for us, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We celebrate this God's love for us that we need to appreciate. Thanks God for all the times being, the struggles that we went through, the mistakes we did. But we thank God, we want to celebrate this God's love for us. If we are not willing to live that same love for others, to serve others, and to have mercy on others, then we have not yet known God's love for us. Three things, huh? Let us not fool ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us seek the living God today and give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ, who shows us the love God has for us. He did not need to wash anyone's feet, yet He did so. After this homily, because of this pandemic, we can't have washing the feet. Yeah, we can't have it shows that you can see previous two years ago we can see the priest can wash the people's feet but now this year we can't do that but we prepare a video that to help you to reflect on Jesus' his washing the feet and also invite each one of us to serve the others to love one another yeah Jesus did not need to wash anyone's feet, yet He did so. He did not need to leave us Himself, yet He did so. Every time we celebrate the Mass, Eucharist, give us the whole, everything, body and blood of Himself. Chinese words, there is a three words, very, very nice. Love until the end. The, the Chinese one, the word, wording means that until everything. Our Jesus is that God who loves us until the end. Until give you everything. Even though you criticize him until you didn't answer his call, he still give you everything. Where can I find this God? He is with us, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. May our hearts, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, have some small glimpse of his love this day so that we can let that love transform us and help us love one another it's not easy but all of us when you call to love one another i always uh, you know always uh, tell the the couples who are married i say jesus tell us that love one another but do not starting from now you are not loving one uh, love another one uh. Uh, it's not that one idea. Love one another is everybody. Everybody. 
So, for us Catholics, we still need to put more effort. You and I, especially priests, we, we are human beings. Many times we can't do much, or maybe many times that we didn't do totally love one another because of our weaknesses. You and I fall into these human weaknesses. But that is not the reason that we run away. That is not the reason that we say no. But we must try. How hard is that we must try to love one another? To seek, speak to the enemy so that one day this enemy can return to God. Starting from us, Today I have a conversation with one parishioner. Suddenly we talk about this serving. And yes, in the church, serving behind the scene is not easy. You are doing some serving, but some people may criticize you. There is a lot of people who are not aligned with you. But must remember who you serve. It's not the priest you serve. It's the God you serve. But there is a lot of people who are serving other people because I'm serving the priest. So you need to follow me, my instructions, because I follow the instructions of the priest without any thinking. You and I very easily fall into these human weaknesses. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today our Lord Jesus gives us a big love to show us, to tell us what to do. Starting from ourselves. You can invite other people to join with you. We can invite other people to join with us. But we don't force other people to follow our footsteps. Probably a different pace. But we must start from ourselves. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this is a commandment that today we take. This is we celebrate. And today, we are entering the Tridium. As you notice today, after this, the celebration not end. The celebrations will continue. The priest won't give you the final blessing. No final blessing today. You continue auto repose. After that, the priest will just left. Tomorrow will come again without any in the name of the Father. And the liturgy finish. Also, the priest will quietly, silently go off. Until the Easter Vigil night, the priest also will come. Didn't say anything in the name of the Father. Didn't have. Whole celebration continue starting from today. Tomorrow, Saturday, Easter Vigil. Until the last one, Easter Vigils, the priests give the final blessing. Go in peace. Alleluia. That is the whole tridium. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this is a very grand celebration of our church. We need to appreciate and for all of you, Tonight, you have a chance to stay for more than one hour with our Lord. Just be silent there. Companion with Jesus. Do not fall in sleep. Keep alert. Alert on Jesus. Alert on His love for each one of us.
So we praise God, we thank God for all the love He's for us. And now we are coming to reflect on the video clips. And I invite all of you look into carefully, quietly, and reflect on yourselves also how you serve, how you love, how you give mercy to one another. Amen.